It's trimming with John. When you're going to trim a bowl, first thing you want to do is take a good look at that curve on the inside, kind of take a mental picture. We're going to try to match that on the outside. And if those curves are the same, then by definition, I'm going to have even walls. We'll set the pot down onto the wheel and get it centered. As Soon as it's centered, I'm going to take three lugs of clay and press them down onto the wheel head and then in towards the pot to secure it to the wheel. And it's important that you press it down onto the wheel first so you don't dent the pot or end up cracking the rim and that bisque firing. Once the bowl is secure, get it spinning at a nice medium fast speed. And most everything we're gonna do is with the nose of the tool, the narrow part right in here. And I'm gonna hold that here on the side at around a 45 degree angle. You wanna find the angle that where you press in, you get these nice ribbons of clay just falling off of the pot. And I'll slowly work my way towards center about a quarter of an inch down until I have the outside of that foot right where I want it. Once I do, I'm left with this awkward step here, which a lot of people leave, but I want to get the nose of that tool again right on that side and press down and slowly roll my wrist to try to mimic that curve that's on the inside. When I feel like I have that, I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch to the inside of that foot, hold the nose again using both hands and carve a little gutter. It's going to do a couple of things for me. It'll help to make sure that if I slip, I don't go right through my foot, and it tells me how deep I can go. Now for this last little bit in the middle, I'll touch down in the center at about a 30 degree angle and slowly move out to the right. If you go nice and slow, you get that nice ribbon coming off. And because I know I have more clay out here because it's curved, I'm going to slowly turn my wrist as I do that. Now at this point, a lot of people would take a sponge and a rib and smooth out the pot. I'm going to slow the wheel down a little bit, and speed up my hands and put in some marks to show that this piece was handmade. Last thing I always do is smooth out that foot so it doesn't cut a table. And then remove one lug, check out the pot, see how it feels, and see if you need to get back in there and get rid of any more clay. If you don't, you're done. Thanks for watching! YouTube videos help folks come.